Usually we just call them pop-ups, but in Brizzy Cloud we have two kinds of pop-ups. The one is external pop-ups, so let's call this one native pop-ups. And the difference is that the native pop-ups appear within the Brizzy Builder. So you actually have to go into a project, start editing it, and that's where you will find that pop-up builder. I am in Brizzy Cloud free at this moment because I just want to show you that when you create a new project, this is where you are going to be creating the external pop-ups, and you can do that in Brizzy Cloud free. But the native pop-ups are inside the web pages. Over here, I have a website project. If I click on it, it will take me into the builder. And here, I can build pop-ups within my website. That's why it's native. To access that, you have to go to the sidebar on the left, click on the settings, and this will open the settings panel. You are greeted with the pages area, and under that, you will see pop-ups. If you click on that, you will see you will have to get Brizzy Pro. These internal native pop-ups that you can build within your site for on-click pop-ups and automatic triggers and conditions is a Brizzy Cloud Pro feature. So for this, let's switch over to Brizzy Cloud Pro. I'm in Brizzy Cloud Pro now, and what we're going to do in this video is just look at where you create these pop-ups. How you create pop-ups? We've got plenty of videos on that, so check them out here within YouTube. Let's go into a project. I'll click here on this one and edit it. This will take us into the Brizzy Builder. As I had shown you earlier, to access that, go to the sidebar on the left, click on Settings, and you will see up here, Pop-ups appear. Click on that. These pop-ups only relate to automatic triggers and conditions. On-click pop-ups are created within the page. Let's close out here. For example, if I want this button to have a pop-up, when I click on it, Go to link and then you will see pop up over here. And from here, you can create your on click pop ups. For triggers and conditions, that is the one that you're going to be accessing and creating over here. Let's create a new one. It gives me a new pop up and let's change a few things first. Let's give it a name Funny Pop Up. Save the name. And then to build that pop-up, you start here with Edit Pop-up. If you see this warning box, this happens because what Brizzy Cloud will do now is it will leave the page you are working on and it will go into the pop-up builder. If you want to save the work that you've been working on, cancel here, close out, and make sure that you update and save this page first. Then you can go back into the Settings panel, Pop-ups, and now click on Edit, and this will load the pop-up builder, which for all intents and purposes looks very much like the page builder. The difference is that it's a pop-up builder, and when you click here, you're going to see the pre-made pop-up designs for you to work with, as well as the blank pop-up that you can start with. From here on, you have control over the pop-up builder and settings up here, as well as setting the triggers and conditions. Check out the video on triggers and conditions for that. If you want to delete the pop-up, again, go to Settings, Pop-ups, first switch to a page. And if you haven't saved the pop-up, you will get this warning again. So make sure that you update your pop-up. Let's go to a page, click on Edit Home Page. And now if you want to delete that pop-up, Settings, Pop-ups, and you'll have the option to delete it. And that's where you create the pop-ups and manage them within Brizzy Cloud Pro. As I've mentioned, we have a lot of tutorials on how to create pop-ups for both on-click and automatic triggers and conditions here on the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next video.